What's going on, everyone? It's Marcellus back with another video. Today, we're going to be going over Anchor. We actually have a nice pump going on in Anchor and some really good news for Anchor. So definitely hit the like button and subscribe. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this financial advice. Leave a comment in the comment section, all that good stuff, and let's get straight to it. So after all this, we're going to kind of do a little bit of a technical analysis on Anchor to see how far it could continue to go to see if it could continue to pump. But for right now, let's go over the news that we just got. So First of all, it's a 29.3% inside of the last 24 hours. So that's huge. In the last seven days, you know, 60%. And then you got over here last 30 days, 85%. So Anchor has been making moves inside the background. As meme coins have been pumping, we have had uh, utility coins like this that are starting to pump now. You know, Baby Doge is now crossing into the utility coin sector because now we're really looked at for Baby Doge Swap, which is a whole utility in itself. So... I feel like this is going to be a really good utility coin here. And, you know, Floki Inu is, or not Inu, because, you know, I keep saying Inu, but Floki is now doing that with FlokiFi. But now with Anchor, you can actually build Web3 projects and Web3 apps on Anchor. So this is actually pretty interesting. So build Web3 apps with a full suite of developer tools, power them with fast global de decentralized connections to dozens of chains. So it's also multi-chain. And they actually just now announced this. And this is the big news, is the partnership that we now have with Microsoft. So, yeah, there's a whole partnership here with Microsoft and Anchor. So, it's pretty cool. And actually, we're going to go ahead and uh, review that and see what they're talking about over here with this um, partnership. So, anyways, we've partnered with Microsoft to support enterprises and organizations needing access to blockchain data with a reliable, easy-to-use node hosting service. So that's pretty much what they're doing here with their partnership. And uh, here's the actual article that they have here. So they just go over what they're going to be doing with their node for services. But this is actually pretty cool. It's going to integrate with Microsoft Azure's marketplace. So this is going to be really good for Microsoft and for Anchor because now we're bridging into like big major tech here. So I think Anchor during the next bull market could definitely be like the next 10x type, 100x type coin. So yeah, I think this is going to be pretty cool for Anchor and anyone who wants to try to get in on this. I just thought it was a good gem, so I just wanted to bring it here and let people know about this. I know inside the last live stream, people said that they want to see some gems. So this is a gem right here. It's uh, rank 139. It's at $366 million market cap. So the trading volume, as you can see, and as you can imagine, $794 million in trading volume right now because it's been pumping. So a lot of big money has been flowing in and out of uh, Anchor over here, Anchor Network. So we're doing pretty good here on Anchor. But um, yeah, this is their Twitter. They got 214,000 followers. If you want to kind of come here and look at their Twitter on your own time or something like that to see what else they're going to be doing soon. But yeah, I think Anchor is definitely going to be a good gem. Now, something else about Anchor, we're going to go over some other things here. We're going to talk about the staking with Anchor. And we're going to talk about how you can actually build with Anchor. So for one, the Anchor network, if you just want to know about their network, the leader in decentralized infrastructure. And over here, they first say the developer first RPC pricing. They have an aligned community, faster global node connections, DAO governance, and more resiliency, uptime, and security. So this is going to be pretty cool to see all of this inside of action. Uh, we got DeFi protocols you can do on here. You can make games on here, NFT marketplaces and projects, market research, layer one blockchains, data indexers. So you can pretty much do everything and benefit from everything from the Anchor Network. So the node provider is, is definitely going to be pretty interesting. The staking you can do right now. So that's what we're going to actually go to now. So we can talk about the staking. Now, here is all the staking over here for... Uh, for Anchor, and you can see Anchor is at 8.87% for a total staked, well, not staked, but you know, for the APR, and then a total staked is 4.4 million. And we have Genosis, which has hardly anything staked. <laughs> but then we have the big ones like Ethereum with $92 million staked at a 3.96% APY. So that's pretty interesting. So annual percentage yield, and that's what we're going to be having over here. So that's pretty interesting. And then we have Binance. Polygon, 1.9 million. Uh, Binance, 67 million inside of the Binance stake. In uh, Avalanche, you have 529,000 inside of there. And then from there, we have other things like uh, the DeFi. If you want to look at some of the DeFi things, 
here for them. They have all of these different DeFi things. They, they got a whole DeFi aggregator. So you would just go here and I guess just click here, deposit, and then do your whole thing with the DeFi aggregator. So that's also pretty cool that they have a DeFi aggregator. So anyways, moving on from that, though, we're going to talk a little bit more about the uh, Microsoft thing with Anchor. So it has over here, Anchor and Microsoft have partnered to support enterprises and organizations needing access to blockchain data with a reliable, easy to use node hosting service. We are working toward a shared goal of making this service available soon through Microsoft's Azure Marketplace, providing a readily accessible gateway to blockchain infrastructure for millions of monthly customers enabling them too. And then you have uh, launch enterprises they could do, um, optimize data queries, and easily track the performance of their nodes anytime, all that good stuff. And yeah, I think this will be good overall, and it will really help get crypto and blockchain technology into the tech world, like into like all these tech enterprises like Microsoft, Google, and like they're now starting to really start to get in on crypto. And I think Anchor is going to be one of those projects that they kind of latch onto, like how Microsoft is doing here. So yeah, I think Anchor is on the right path. And with that comes the Anchor token. If you want to, you know, roll your dice with the Anchor token, I think it's pretty good in what they're doing right now. And as you can see, the price right now is fairly low, I guess you could say, um, compared to what they were before. They were about uh, 21 cents at the all-time high. We're now at four cents. And yeah, I think we have, I think we have some potential here. It's been out since uh, 2019, as you can see. So it has a bit of a track record and it was actually going up when we were inside of the last pump, last bull market. And I think during this next bull market, we could probably see something similar happening to Anchor. But yeah, we're at 30% up now. So I think it might continue to go as uh, more news comes out with the Microsoft thing. But yeah, this will be pretty interesting and I'll probably use the staking or the at least the DeFi aggregator in the future to see like the best deals. So I guess I'll be doing that too. And yeah, they're multi-chain, all that good stuff here. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got for that. I just wanted to go over this with you all and let you all know exactly what's going on with Anchor. But also you can see over here the price that we mentioned. Uh, so we are actually getting rejected at the top of this little resistance area. And that's at 0 0.054. And we got rejected there. Now we're at 0 0.045. So right now we're just going to have to level it out. Maybe we go all the way down to the support, all the way down to 0 0.035, but we just came from that. So it was probably not going to go all the way down there. I reckon we'll probably end up stopping around here where we're at, maybe going a little bit lower and then trying to retest this resistance all the way back up here after that. So I think that's probably what could be happening here with Anchor. We'll probably try to end up going up here, retesting this, see if we can continue to go a little bit higher. And I think it probably will go higher because of all the good news Anchor is having with Microsoft. If we have some more stuff that just rolls in for Anchor as well, that'll also be good. And you can also see down here, we're coming off of an oversold area here with Anchor. This is all oversold, all overselling. You can see here the selling is kind of slowing down, which is a bullish signal. So I think that there's probably going to be another pump for Anchor. Probably going to get to like six cents or trying to get to 10 cents maybe. But anyways, this is just my projection here. But like I said, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this financial advice. But yeah, definitely hit the like button and subscribe. All that good stuff. And as always, I'll be back with another video.